What am I looking at here? Junk brain diagnosis? What? Why has she got an outline? Why is there a cut around outline on this? What? <laughs> Again? Why are they? Why are they all got cut around outlines? <laughs> what is this? Yeah, there's more of it at the back too. That's the funny thing about Japanese games. Sometimes they've got really weird publishing. Let's find out what junk brain diagnosis is all about. Like, what kind of name is that? Welcome to Sushi Bites Minis. These episodes aren't going to be very long, I just talk about a game very briefly. And this one is Junk Brain Diagnosis, Kanako Enomoto. I don't know why this game exists, but it's particularly interesting. It's like a psychoanalytic test. You do little diagnosis tests on certain areas of your brain. Your concentration, speed, stamina, rhythm, and... What was the other one? Judgment. Now, I couldn't follow all of the minigames entirely because of the Japanese language, but the majority of them I sort of understood generally what I was supposed to do. There's a reasonable amount of English in this, you can actually follow it a little. But it's just a weird game, and it's just a... It's kind of hard to describe, just watch the opening video. Yeah, exactly. It's trying to explain this game is is borderline impossible. It's strange. It's from 1999 and it uses the likeness of Kanako Enomoto, who at the time was an up-and-coming Japanese model. The last thing she did was a book of recipes well over 5 years ago. But generally you spend most of this game just completing these little diagnosis segments and then getting ranked on your ability to complete them. Now, I cannot really follow it 100% and therefore I can't really give it a rating based on language barrier or should you play it. I don't think the minis are really about this, it's just showing you a game that I've stumbled across and tried to play and it's just... it's just weird. 